The following is a six-man tag team match. Introducing first, from St. Louis, Missouri, weighing in at 250 pounds, one half of the Alliance Wrestling World Tag Team Champions, the Viper, Randy Orton. Think of all the legendary factions that Randy Orton has been a part of. All steps in his career greatness. Oh, he learned from the best. But at a very early age, Randy proved he can go it alone. Yeah, we learned very quickly that Randy Orton was the student who was able to surpass the Masters. And in the process, Randy Orton has become a master in his own right. Orton looks like he's ready to stalk his prey. From Montreal, Quebec, Canada, weighing in at 212 pounds, Sammy Zayn! And guys, this looks to be a match with major implications here in WWE. Could change the entire landscape here. A man who elevates his game every week. He is competing at his highest level yet. Weighing in at 266 pounds, one half of the Alliance Wrestling World Tag Team Champions, Kevin Owens! My very first night on commentary was Kevin Owens' very first night in NXT. Since then, he has gone on to have a Hall of Fame-worthy career in a relatively short period of time. A man who looks about ready to stun the world right now. He's pretty much stunned every Raw or SmackDown superstar there is. A Universal Champion, a United States Champion, the list goes on and on, and Kevin Owens owes it all to himself. Kevin Owens cares about no one but himself, and that's why he's successful. And at a combined weight of 568 pounds, so many memorable factions in the history of sports entertainment. If you ask me, this group could very well join that Mount Rushmore.
It's always interesting to watch teams clash like we have here in this one. These matches are always a perfect chance to find out how well these superstars actually get along. And an equal opportunity to stab an enemy in the back. Across the top rope. Team effort. Double shoulder block. Down opponent and a double axe handle smash. This match grinding him down a little. Double axe handle smash. Reaches his partner for the tag. behind that kick. And up the tag is Sami Zayn. In the clothesline. I am afraid of what we are about to see. Oh, oh man. A slingshot DDT off the apron. Big toss. In a six-man tag match like this, what's the best strategy for each side to take? You have to avoid bad Matchups. You've got to pick your targets carefully and not let yourself get tangled up with a guy who's got your number. Right on point. Oh, ouch! Ooh, great agility on display. A continuous rush on Sami Zayn here. Yeah, a tough night so far for Sami. Oh my goodness! Thank 
looking to stop Owens. Look at him totally vibing with the WWE Universe right now. And tag, he's in now. Finally. Into a Brainbuster? Oh, man. Tag made here. Oh, this is going to be bad. Chest. He's on his heels a bit now. Yeah, they've stuck it out through this match, but it wouldn't hurt to go for the tag soon here. Down to Owen and a double axe handle smash. Waiting for it. This one. Oh! For the win! Coming to the rescue. his team in the match. And look at front beat back suplex. Tag is registered. Fight any longer. 
Sometimes a match can't live up to the hype, guys, but that one sure did. Here are your winners. Huge win here in six-man tag team action. We call a lot of matches, but this one's going to stick in my mind for weeks to come. I agree with you on that, Corey. This one was unforgettable. Please sit down, Byron. Please. I got a goosebump parade running up and down my body. The new day's here. A goosebump parade. The following contest is a six-man tag team match. On the way to the ring, at a combined weight of 702 pounds, the International Wrestling Grand Prix Tag Team Champions Kofi Kingston, Big E, and Xavier Woods, The New Day. Three very successful competitors, but even better as a group. Kofi Kingston, a world champion. Big E won money in the bank and the WWE title. And let's not forget King Woods. And Corey, all of that success is a testament to the power of positivity. Well, here come the men near the head of the table. And at a combined weight of 493 pounds, Jimmy and Jay, the Usos! Sons of WWE Hall of Famer Rikishi, Jimmy and Jay, one of the most exciting teams of this generation. Oh, 
When you think about The Rock, you think about all the memories, all the moments that have meant so much to so many people. The captain of Team Bring It about to do exactly that. We are about to experience history here tonight. The people's champion is in the house. And if you want to see who can play well with others, put them in a tag match. It's true. Teamwork needs to be on point to win one of these. You know, I was thinking of this as a three-man team. Oh, shut up, Saxton. I'd switch sides just to pin you. Oh, man, right to the arm. Hyper-extend your elbow. Able to interrupt the attack. into the corner. Got them right in the corner. Oh, wicked kick to the lower back. And Corey, how do you account for the extra variables in a six-man tag? Trust. Even the most long-standing trios have an odd man out. Regardless, you need to push the doubt aside. Trust both of your partners and put them in a position to do what they do best. the tag. some of the great action. Here are your winners, Jay Uso, Jimmy Uso, and The Rock! These three have to be happy with their performance here tonight. After that win, this superstar stock is rising, and they are dancing all the way to the pay window.
Here comes trouble. Opportunist, one of the most cunning superstars in WWE history. And his opponent, accompanied by Beth Phoenix, representing the Brood. From Toronto, Ontario, Canada, weighing in at 249 pounds, Edge! After spending eight years on the shelf in retirement, Edge has come back hungrier and tougher than ever. And the title is not on the line, but the champion looks as ready as ever. Well, I'm not going to lie. I have written this competitor off from pretty much jump. But their title win proved me wrong, and that's not something that happens often. And we all know it, Corey. Nonetheless, tonight is a huge test for this title holder. And then we've got Edge, an exceptional competitor with a one-of-a-kind connection with the WWE Universe. The cheers, the spotlight, the flash photography, it all fuels Edge to do superhuman things inside the ring. Yeah, whether it's winning titles or getting innovative for the ladder, Edge does it all for the fans. The louder they cheer, the more fired up and tenacious he becomes. So much torque on the knee and ankle. Grabs the leg. Just a good old toss for the leg. Oh my goodness, dribbling the opponent's head like a basketball. Edge is certainly fighting from behind now. Edge's defenses are being mowed down. Gets him with the counter. Edge reversing the momentum on him. Yeah, Edge able to stop that surge dead in its tracks. Corey, I would love to get your thoughts on what it'll take to come out on top against Edge here tonight. Patience will pay dividends here. Edge has a tendency to let emotions get the best of him, and once they do, it's only a matter of time before he slips. To take down an explosive competitor like Edge, you have to keep your cool and bide your time. Eventually, Edge's frustration will be the best of him. Running elbow drop on target. Oh, no, 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 no. A big splash. Knees up. Got the knees up just in time. Oh, man. Edge 
the opposition. The damage he's taken is starting to pile up. Oh, man, check out this power. was over. Yeah. Hooked up. DDT. Looking at the unpredictable, unhinged side of edge coming out. Yeah. Big, big back body drop. What elevation. Just like that, edge evades. Watch the quickness on this. Bang! Snap suplex. Looks like he has his finger on the trigger now. Uh-oh. Somersault plancha to the floor. That is the attitude of a daredevil. The ability to take risk with minimal trepidation. No fear. Absolute reckless abandon. Oh, that'll do some serious damage. Carefully measured knee drop. Edge is unloading his arsenal. Edge is holding nothing back. Right to the face. My God. Watch the quickness on this. He's testing fate here in danger of a countout. Sit straight to the barricade. He gets back into the ring. These guys feel no love for each other. Here's another look. Here is your winner. And a count out win is still a win. The referee's count is more than enough time to get back in the ring. The loser only has themselves to blame. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the WWE Global Internet and the WWE Intercontinental Championships. Introducing the champion representing the nation from Sacramento, California, weighing in at 274 pounds. He is the WWE Global Internet Champion, Brian Case. You don't see this every day, guys. Both titles will be up for grabs here in this one. Which means one of these superstars will be going home with an embarrassment of riches, while the other leaves here empty-handed. The title collector is here. And introducing the champion from Ayr, Scotland, weighing in at 254 pounds, the Scottish.
Goddess Warrior, Drew McIntyre. Imagine all the hard work, the training, and the perseverance it takes to win a title in WWE. Now double it, and you can see the magnitude of this man's accomplishment. In WWE, the only thing more difficult than becoming champion is staying champion. And his journey was twice as hard, but the work from here is double too. But if anyone is up to the challenge, it's this guy. You talk about standing at the top of the mountain, this guy is at the peak of Mount Everest. Indeed, it is going to take a monumental effort to take either one of this guy's titles. The winner here joins rare company of double champions. Two titles on the line in this contest. If I had a million dollars, I'll tell you what I'd do, man. Challenge for two titles at the same time, man. Thanks for that insight, Corey. The Scottish Warrior staring into his opponent's soul right now, trying to see what they're made of. Look at this raw power bomb. What a boot. Can he do it here? And the rope will force a break. Look at this, just unloading. And a Ooh. stop to the gut, too. Oh, just deadlifting their opponent and tossing them aside. I don't think people realize the amount of strength it takes to hurl someone like that. Leaving himself open here. Great wherewithal on the counter. Uh-oh, look at this. Inverted. Oh, big slam. He's getting fired up now, really feeding off this It'll take more than that to hold him down. Oh, what a kick. Ooh. And he goes for the pin. Oh. Oh, a two count there. Doesn't bode well if you still can't get more than a one count by now. Hits off. Joe Slam. Drew McIntyre's about as formidable a competitor as they come here in WWE. He's a man who can be methodical one moment and explosive the next. I have to imagine it's difficult to come up with a proper game plan when oh, 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 oh. and gets to the red that's going to force the break. Uh-oh, this is not going to end well. Big time power. Ooh. That hurt. Drew flexing his muscle as he attempts to rally the troops. Uh, watch this power. What a good friend's power bomb. The champ not in a great place. And McIntyre's aggression seemingly growing with each attack. All the way up. Back break. Fireman's carry. Up and...
turns things around. Oh! Two! Shot after shot. Oh, ruthless striking. And now thrown back into the ring. Four. This could be big. Going up high. From the top. He moves just in time. Muscle up for the gory special. Oh, wait, wait a second. Yikes. Another one bites the dust to the champ. The champ isn't going down easy. Based on what we just saw, I think this match is far from over. Who knows what that kick out is. The champ might be running on the fumes. Will that be the last opportunity? Is there still enough left in these men? Isolating the arm. Oh, just deadlifting their opponent and tossing them aside. He's going for the pin. This could be it. The champion with a quick shoulder up. All the punishment he's taken, and yet he's still in this match. Let's have a look. Ladies and gentlemen, here is your and WWE Intercontinental Champion, the Scottish Warrior, Drew. chapter in this title's legacy begins here. The now former champion obviously not happy with this outcome. I did not think a title change was in the car.